students, this is Dr. Staub. I want to walk you through today how to format your paper in APA formatting for both a title page and text of your paper. And we're doing this germane to our theory of knowledge uh, prescribed title essay, but you can use this for any paper that you need to do for APA formatting, whether it's in high school or in college. So first th things first, I'm going to do this in Google, Drive, Google Docs. Uh, it's where most of you do your work. And it's, it's frankly, it's free and it's everywhere. So if you do this in Word, these things are doable in Microsoft Word as well, but it's just going to look a little different. First and foremost, uh, however you have your Google document, uh, mine is just an examiner comments from a sample example that we used in class previously this year. You wanna make sure that we are in uh, Times New Roman and that we have 12 point font and that we've got double spacing. Um, I know some of you write your essay in different fonts or single spaced. When you get ready to submit your essay, you wanna make sure those things are followed. I also usually have a half inch margin around my paper so I can see more of my paper. You want to make sure it's a full one inch margin. So that work there is pretty easy. The next thing you want to do is put your cursor at the very beginning of your essay and you want to go to insert and we're going to insert something called a section break which will give us a title page and then the rest of our essay. Now we have two options, section break, a next page or second section break continuous. You want to do the section break next page so it doesn't tie into the previous page. When we do that, you'll see your essay got bumped down to page, what would be page two, and we have this blank document up here for page one. Now, if you see this blue line, uh, I have a setting turned on here. Uh, under view, it says show section breaks. Uh, that's super helpful for doing this work, and it doesn't affect your essay. And if you were to print or submit this essay as a PDF file, this will not show up. But it's helpful to show your section break, because that'll show you, show you um, where you put that uh, item, that element in your paper. I'm also going to zoom out here a little bit just so you can see um, how these papers, how these pages look. The next thing you want to do is your title for the APA title page goes right in the middle of your paper vertically and horizontally. So I'm going to go and grab my prescribed title because that is going to be the title for my paper. I'm going to paste that, um, keeping that Times New Roman 12 point font uh, feature. I'm gonna make it centered left to right. And now I'm going to eyeball centering it top to bottom. That's about right. The next thing for my particular to the theory of knowledge prescribed title essay, I'm gonna do word count. And the word count maximum for that essay is 1600. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then at the very bottom of the page, you want, uh, so that would be enough for a typical APA title page, but for theory of knowledge, particularly to this assignment, at the very bottom of the page, you're gonna type theory of knowledge and the, the year that you're submitting the paper. So in this case, it's theory, theory of knowledge and 2021. Now you want that at the very bottom and here's where the page breaks, that blue line is helpful. If I hit return, I know where the very bottom of my paper is. I know it just went to the next page, so um, you can see whether that section break um, between the title page and the first page of your essay are. That part's the easy part, students. Uh, let's do the headers. Um, and the reason why this is a section break and not a page break or just a whole bunch of returns is your header has to be different on the title page versus the rest of the paper. So in Google Docs, you go to insert header and footer. So let's put a header in. And now this is gonna say header in section one and header in section two. For section one, uh, the title page, we're gonna type the words running head, colon, and then what comes next is the first 50 characters of your title. Now I'm gonna zoom this in so you can see it. Um, this, so I type the words running head and you want the first 50 characters of your title. Um, I did not count that out. I think it's a little under 50. And you wanna delete the punctuation. Um, you don't need the punctuation in a running head. So you say running head and then the first 50 characters of your title. And you want this part that I've got highlighted in all capitalization. Uh, now you can type that out if you want, but if you go to format, text, capitalization, you can make it uppercase and it does that work for you. Uh, don't do extra work if you don't need to. Now, if you notice, this is in an Arial again, so we want to do Times New Roman, 
12 point font. I don't know why the header defaults back to the Google Docs default text. So now we've got that on the first page. And let me zoom you back out so you can see the title page again. So you've got the running head, your title, you might want to argue that that could be down a little bit now that we know where our top of the paper is. But the, the header on the second page is exactly the same as the first, but we don't want that. So let me show you how to fix the header on the second page. Uh, I just double clicked on the top here and you can see where it says link to previous section. You want to click that off. And now we've got the previous section, the, the original title or the original header that we did is still there. I went up and copied this because we're going to need this again. Uh, and now for the header for section two, it's just going to be that, uh, that running head, but without the words running head. And we're going to insert a page number. So we've got this. I'll just zoom out to show you for a second that uh, this header is different than the title page. You can see both right there. Um, but now to do a page number, I think this is a little tricky. Uh, you're going to insert and page number. And it would seem <laughs> logical just to pick one of these. You actually want to go to more options. I think this is unique to Google, Google Docs and make it a little bit extra tricky. You want the page number formatting that you're doing to only apply to this section. Yes, you want it in the header. Yes, you want it to start on page one. So this is going to show you number one over here. But you don't want to continue from previous section. I think it's weird that it, it selects that as the default. You want to start at one and hit apply. And now that's going to give you the page number on this section of your paper, but not the other section. So that con section break uh, next page option that we picked earlier allows us to do this. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get these numbers in here correctly. Uh, I like to hit the tab button and get it over as close to the right hand uh, justified por portion of my paper as I can. And now let's zoom out and take a look at what this looks like. So now we have our running head starting on page one of our essay, but the, the title page has explicitly says running head and there is no page number. Um, and as you continue through your essay, which you probably already have this, but when you get to the next page, it automatically adds that running head and the page number. So I hope this was helpful. And if you uh, find this helpful, hit the like button uh, and you'll see more videos like this come along. Thanks everybody.